Welcome to Lesson 2, Enclosure Design. The TermPro Enclosure Design software provides you with the ability to design and analyze 12 different types of enclosures. In this lesson, you will learn how to design a vented enclosure and interpret the results. After completing this lesson, you will be able to select the desired enclosure type, specify the number of drivers in the design, Design an enclosure based on a listener profile. Modify the enclosure volume and tuning frequency. And interpret the predicted results by analyzing the graph. TermPro consists of five distinct pages. Each of these pages focuses on a unique aspect of the enclosure design process. To access each page, click on the navigation index at the top of the screen. The recommended sequence for designing a subwoofer enclosure in Term Pro is to work from left to right whenever possible. For example, you would normally select the driver on the driver library page. You would then design the enclosure on the enclosure design page. The next step would be to design the vent on the vent design page. Finally, you would design the physical enclosure on the wood design page. The fabrication page is used to view and or print blueprints for the design. Let's get started by taking a tour of the enclosure design page. This tour is just an overview. I'll talk more about each section in more detail later in the training. The enclosure selection panel is used to select the type of enclosure you wish to design. The driver configuration panel is used to specify the quantity of drivers in the enclosure. The back chamber panel contains the enclosure design parameters, such as enclosure volume and tuning frequency. The Enclosure Frequencies panel displays the calculated frequency characteristics for the enclosure. The Ripple panel includes a bar graph that indicates the enclosure's maximum deviation from a flat frequency response. The Generator panel is used to specify how much audio power is applied to the system for analysis purposes. This panel also includes two power limit indicators, one for electrical limitations and the other for mechanical limitations. The layer control panel is used to control the active design layer. TermPro allows you to work with as many as four independent designs at the same time. The layer cursors panel is used to display the graph values at the location specified by the mouse pointer. The graph is used to display various plots related to the current design, such as frequency response, SPL, power handling, and cone displacement. The Enclosure Design Toolbar is used to execute commands and control the graph plot visibility. At this time, I'm going to provide step-by-step -step instructions for designing a vented enclosure. First, you'll need to select the type of enclosure you wish to design. Click on the Select button in the Enclosure panel. The Enclosure Selection window will open. Click on the tab representing the enclosure family you wish to use. Then, click on the button directly beneath the desired enclosure. The enclosure panel will be updated, indicating the selection is currently active. To specify the number of drivers that will be installed in the enclosure, locate the driver configuration frame on the left side of the enclosure design page. Enter the desired number of drivers into the text field, or Use the up-down arrow keys adjacent to the input field to change the current value. It's important to remember that the quantity selector is used to specify the number of drivers that share a common rear enclosure volume. Term Pro can automatically design enclosures for specific listener profiles. This is the easiest way to design an enclosure using the software. Please locate the three listener profile buttons on the toolbar at the bottom of the page. These are named Flat, Normal, and Boomer. Selecting Flat will design an enclosure with a flat frequency response. This type of response is most suitable for the audio file. Selecting the Boomer listener profile will result in an enclosure design with a boosted bass response. This is suitable for listeners who want more bass. Selecting Normal will result in an enclosure frequency response that has slightly augmented bass. This is suitable for most listeners. When you click on a listener profile button, TermPro will automatically calculate the suggested enclosure volume and tuning frequency for the selected profile.
These parameters will then be displayed in the back chamber panel and the predicted frequency response will be updated on the graph. Although the listener profile buttons provide a quick and easy way to design an enclosure, for best performance you may want to customize the design. TurnPro provides you with complete control over all enclosure design parameters. In a vented enclosure, there are two design parameters you can change, enclosure volume VB1 and enclosure tuning frequency FB1. To specify the enclosure volume, simply enter the desired value into the VB1 text box or use the up-down buttons adjacent to the field to adjust the current value. All enclosure design parameters can be adjusted in this manner. When you specify an enclosure design parameter, TurnPro will calculate the recommended values for the other parameters and then update the graph. TurnPro includes a parameter lock feature that prevents user-specified parameters from changing automatically. Padlock buttons are used to lock design parameters so they do not change when these calculations occur. When you manually specify a design parameter, TurnPro will automatically lock that field. Pressing the padlock button will toggle the lock state for the associated design parameter. Analysis is an important part of the design process. TurnPro provides several tools to aid with the analysis of your design. The graph can be used to plot various calculations. To enable or disable a plot, use the plot control buttons found on the toolbar at the bottom of the page. When a plot is enabled, a bar showing the color of the plot will be displayed above the associated plot control button. The relative plot displays the predicted frequency response of the system relative to 0 dB. The SPL plot displays the predicted sound pressure level in a free field listening environment. The power plot displays the maximum power that can be applied to the system without exceeding either the electrical or mechanical power limits of the driver. The displacement plot displays the maximum cone excursion for the applied input power. The grid button is used to enable or disable the graph's grid. The clear button clears all plots and resets the graph. TurnPro also includes a feature that allows you to view the actual plot values for any frequency point on the graph. Simply click and hold the mouse button on the graph and plot values will be displayed in the cursor readouts. The ripple bar graph indicates the maximum deviation from a flat response. The higher the value, the larger the base bump in the response. The TurnPro Enclosure Design software provides you with the ability to design and analyze 12 different types of enclosures. In this lesson, you learned how to select the desired enclosure type, specify the number of drivers in the design, design an enclosure based on a listener profile, modify the enclosure volume and tuning frequency, and interpret the predicted results by analyzing the graph. Please spend a moment to review this lesson by practicing the information presented here with your own copy of TermPro. Thanks for watching.